Happy 4th of July, and welcome to LVTV's coverage of the 4th of July Parade in Old Downtown Laverne. I'm Chuck Ochoa. And I'm JC Theory. It's a beautiful day for the parade. I mean, talk about great weather. The sun is out. We've still got a great breeze coming through here. I think we're pretty lucky right now. Oh, we even <laughs> have clouds that knock the sun out a little bit, makes it nice and comfortable. Oh, yeah. Hopefully I we'll thought be it was going to be hot. Oh. Hopefully we can enjoy that afternoon sun. I mean, poolside, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I don't know. <laughs> I could wait for that to happen. <laughs> right now, I like it to be just the way it is, comfortable. Oh, yeah. I think we're looking at a great day today. We have uh, people starting to show up, mm -hmm. sitting in their seats, anticipating the parade. Oh, yeah. What are you looking forward to most? Uh, the little kids. See what the kids are doing. You know, you have uh, them on bicycles and scooters and being pulled in, <laughs> in anything. You know, it's kind of fun to watch. Oh, yeah. Definitely hoping to spot some nice festive dogs i don't know and this can't be done without our sponsors and we'd like to thank some of them right now we have skyrocket sponsors which are don kendrick real estate and university of laverne our firecracker sponsors 986 pharmacy we've got civil tech engineering incorporated dr steven takamatsu Haker Equipment Company, Haynes Family of Programs, and David and Margaret Youth and Family Services, Laverne Optometry, McLay Services, Remax Masters Realty, RKA Consulting Group, and Rodeo Jewelers. And our sparkler sponsors are Band of Brothers VFW, post number 12034, Direct Edge Incorporated, Greenscape Maintenance Services, Inland Valley Humane Society, MK Stark Company, Outdoor Elegance, and Retired Senior Volunteer Patrol. Our in-kind sponsors, we've got Collie Ford, Lighthouse Baptist, Mike Brown Grandstands, Sanders Towing, Stars and Stripes Ministry from Holy Name of Mary, and Waste Management.
Well, we just saw a number of motorcycles cruise by. This is the Patriotic Motorcycle Ride. Typically, Jeff Bassler and Tim Morrison have approximately 200 motorcycles in the pre-parade Harley ride. This year is no different from anyone in the past. They showed all the military flags that on the motorcycles along with U.S. flags representing all those people that serve for our country. We're just minutes away from the start of the City of Laverne 4th of July Parade on LVTV3. We know what it's like to go to war, to bravely step forward and sacrifice for what you believe is right. We see those who are redefining what it means to serve, to be a patriot, a hero, and to save lives. From our nation's injured veterans to the faces of courage across America today, we see you, we support you, we salute you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your service. So JC, whether you know it or not, this parade started back in 1973. So there's 48 years of this event going on, minus you know last year, which yes. we obviously didn't have a parade. But this cannot happen without a lot of people in the background. So we have the 4th of July Parade Committee that helps us all come together. Thank you to Jeff Bassler, Brian Bocock, Kathy Cordova, Yvonne Duran, Angelica Garcia, Isabella Guzman, Ralph Hernandez, Christy Lopez, Candace Muffet, Tim Morrison, J.R. Rennells, Ren and Gabriel Rivera. Other members include Don Kendrick, Robin Carter, Wendy Law, Chad Peterson, Denny Sharp, Marcia Townsend, Don Frankhauser, Christy Lopez, Brian Bocock, Yvonne Duran, Romero Nunez, and Holly Savage, along with Robert Russell and Jessica Estrella. Also, Josh Wells helps as, uh, on the police side. And it's looking like the parade is picking up here shortly. We have a number of people out here. They're finally getting into their chairs. I see people over there knocking around a volleyball, trying to keep themselves entertained. The families have definitely situated themselves here on the sidewalks and are getting ready for the parade. I'm seeing a lot more dogs out here. Very festive. <laughs> and the nice thing about it, the weather. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. We definitely got lucky today. I could not ask for a better day for being outside and very comfortable. Had this been a week or two ago, it would been 100 degrees and we would have been burning up. Oh yeah. But right now it's looking fabulous. We're seeing people in their chairs got drinks and snacks along with even, I mean, again, they're, they're looking very comfortable. Actually, <laughs> a the, little jealous. The <laughs> other thing that you see that you haven't seen in a while are faces. Yes. It's kind of nice. You can actually see people smiling and talking and, and engaging with one another, which it's been a while. Yeah. It's been a number of months that we've been able to do this. So that's a blessing in disguise. As usual, the parade should be led by the uh, police department. And as they approach, I'd be more than happy to say who's in that vehicle and what's going on. <laughs> but right now, they're dragging their feet. <laughs> So do you have any plans for the uh, 4th of July? Typically, my family's tradition is we, um, we're we local. We're from San Dimas. So we like to take our trailer up to Pudding Stone at our campgrounds and enjoy a nice barbecue up there. So that's always fun. You know what's funny about Pudding Stone? It's like the best kept secret. It is. It's, it's <laughs> minutes away from the city. Very quiet. And you look like you're in a totally different area. 100%. It's unbelievable. I remember the first time I went there, I was kind of shocked that, wow, this is like Five minutes away. And you would have no idea. You would it's have right no in your idea. backyard. It is right there. It is, it's awesome. It's fun to do. And it's I, hard to believe it's right in our backyard. We don't typically take advantage of it. And there are people who come from out of town or out of other cities who go to enjoy it. 
And for all those people that are just trying out new RVs and motorhomes and all that. It's a perfect spot. Great place to go because you're close to home if you forget something. You can buzz back home and come back to the campsite. I will admit we did that one year where <laughs> we were forgetting our condiments at home. So we were making regular trips back to our house to pick up ketchup, mustard, anything that we needed for hot dogs and barbecue. Nothing worse than so not much for a vacation. <laughs> I see something coming down the road, but it's still a ways off. Can't quite see. There are a number of people on scooters and bikes cruising around. Definitely an excuse to be outdoors. Any reason to be outside oh, 100%. today. Yep. I remember looking at the weather, trying to say, oh, is this going to be really hot when we get there <laughs> that day? Nothing better than sitting in uh, right around asphalt. <laughs> when it's, you know, We're definitely a little lucky. We are under a canopy. With shade. With shade. A, a nice breeze coming through. Lots of trees. Yes. Can't say that for everybody who's here, unfortunately. No, no. I think those uh, locations where there's shade are the uh, primo spots where everybody puts their chairs down the weeks or, or days before at least Definitely to try and come save here them. early and get a spot. In looking back over all the years that I've been involved with this parade, there's a number of people that have been along the same ride with me. And to see the name slowly changing, it's, it's kind of uh, exciting and sad mm -hmm. because it's, it's the uh, passing of the torch, you know, yes. so to say. Making way for the next generation. Exactly. All us old dogs are soon to be done. <laughs> well, luckily, we get to learn from the best before us and continue that on. Well, if this is the best, it was slim pickings. <laughs> <laughs> I think the one thing that became an advantage a little bit with all the stuff that went on this last year is how restaurants have adapted and, ad and adjusted what they're doing mm -hmm. and have outdoor dining, yes. which is kind of cool, actually. I, I enjoy it, uh, especially when it's a nice, comfortable day and you're out there, or even the evening, like some of the evenings recently. Perfect temperature. It's not cold, not hot. You could sit out there, and uh, it's very relaxing. There's a newfound appreciation for being able to go out more often. No doubt about that. Yeah. No doubt about that at all. Out of all the years, this is the first time we've ever televised from this location. And the thing that's kind of neat, you can see uh, from Monero Square, a lot of trees down the street where our last location, you don't get to see many trees. You see mainly buildings. And this looks a little bit more homey and, uh, and a little bit more comfortable. A little more right in the heart of Laverne. It does. Oh, the shade is absolutely fantastic. Oh, yeah. We love the shade. And as you can see, the uh, police vehicle is slowly approaching. Uh, driving that vehicle is none other than the chief of police, uh, Nick Paz. And Nick Paz started the police department back in 1983. So this is his last year. He's going to retire this year in December. At least that's what he uh, said recently. And so he'll have uh, 38 years in at the police department. And I can't think of a better way to end his career by leading uh, the last parade that he's going to be involved with. And this is the one time I can honestly say somebody in a police vehicle with lights on, flashing, and you hear a siren from time to time. This is the slowest I've ever seen them drive. <laughs> Slowly but surely, they are coming down the street. Yes, normally when those lights and sirens are on, they're having to go Zoom somewhere in. quickly. Yes. <laughs>
really lets you take it all in. Chief Paz became the chief of police back in uh, 2016 when uh, Chief Pickwith had retired and Nick Paz took over. So he's had a pretty good run and uh, he's ending at the, the pinnacle of his career at the top spot, which not many people get to become chief. So kudos to him for that and I wish him nothing but the best on his retirement. Hopefully it's a long retirement. And uh, I'm sure he's enjoying this, this aspect of it. Chief is driving the major accident investigation team vehicle. And coming in right behind the police vehicle is the Veterans of Foreign Wars, post 12034. Directly uh, in this group is the American flags being marched in by that post, opening up the parade. We've already got the music going, off to a good start. A little groove here and there. there it <laughs> I'm is. sure we'll get one. <laughs> and right here we have the Banner Brothers honor team in the the van. And we have our veteran bus. This carries both uh, active and veterans active military and veterans. And at this point, we have Laverne Fire Department sneaking in behind them. And we have Captain Sam Dominic, Engineer Joe Mancino, and firefighters Jimmy Welfong and Davis Cook riding in the rig. I think it's safe to say that this is a kid favorite when they're down here. Love seeing the fire truck. Something about fire trucks Something always, about it. always gets them. And we have our grand marshals, our health care workers. We've got Chris Cuevo, Jennifer Cuevo, Connie Hernandez, Andrea Smith, Carla Cervantes, Melissa Sierra, Maggie Moriarty, Teresa Benzor, Erica Brown, and Cheryl McDonald. A big, big thank you to our healthcare heroes. They've definitely had a tough year. And it truly would not be without them that we would have gotten past this year. Exactly. And here's our canine truck. Right here in the canine, we have Officer Adio Julian with his partner, canine Dino.
and we have our mayor, Tim Hepburn. Hello, everybody. We're very excited this year to have our 4th of July parade and our fireworks show. I want to first thank the governor for opening up our state. And secondly, and most of all, I want to thank our 4th of July committee and our staff for putting this together in such short order. We're excited. We can't wait for it to have it. And happy 4th of July, everybody. Thank you, Mayor. I guess that's one way to do a parade, take your drinks with you. They were definitely thinking ahead. And here we have Laverne Chamber of Commerce with the Shop Laverne float. And you can't go wrong with a nice classic car. Which will be following that float here in a second. Here we have Carl Harstein. He's a World War II vet. Driving in a classic GTO. Not a bad way to go. Pretty red color, too. It's great to be out on the parade this year. Thanks to the 4th of July committee for getting us back together so that we can once again enjoy each other as a close community. Happy 4th, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us, Mayor Pro Tem Muir Davis. And here we have council member Robin Carter. Happy 4th of July to everyone. This holiday has always been a very special celebration for my family. My brother was born on 4th of July, so we've always celebrated big. Today, everyone has a chance to enjoy the celebration publicly. Enjoy your families, be safe, and remember that we're out here to be kind to one another and to share in all the activities going on. So our 4th of July committee has worked very hard on bringing forth the parade in the fireworks show. So we want you to enjoy those, but please remember, be safe. Also be kind to your neighbors and friends. Thank you and happy 4th of July. And coming in behind council member Robin Carter would be council member Wendy Lau. She's definitely Hello a friendly everybody. face. If, like me, you've been missing the 4th of July for the last year, this is a great opportunity for us to get together as a community again and celebrate. So I hope that you are getting the opportunity to spend time with friends and family that you may not have seen because of the pandemic and really celebrating the awesomeness that is this amazing city. Happy 4th of July to all of you and yours. Hi, I want to wish everybody a happy 4th of July. From my family to yours, hopefully everyone has a safe and happy 4th of July. One thing that we like about 4th of July is that the sense of community. And coming out today in our parade again brings that community together. So everyone, hope you have a great and happy 4th of July. Thank you, Council Member Rick Crosby. Now we have Paul Cavan. Let's listen to the music. They're bringing the tunes with them wherever they go. And here we have the Best Antique Car Award, a 1912 Ford Model T. Driven by Don Dexter. And coming in behind is the Pride of Laverne Huntington Award winner, Denny Sharp. Denny is being recognized as the Volunteer of the Year. 
And here we have Lighthouse Baptist Church. And another beautiful classic car. 1968 Ford Mustang Fastback. Now we have the San Dimas Mountain Rescue, which is comprised of all volunteer law enforcement officers on that team. This is the group that goes out there and uh, finds those lost hikers or injured hikers up in the hills of uh, Laverne and San Dimas and all along the foothills here. And talk about patriotic, we've got the Francisco family with a salute to service Jeep. These flags are military service flags and markings featuring memorial tributes to deceased service members. Here we have a historical unit of South California honoring the U.S. Marine Corps. Here we have the uh, World War II Ford Burma Jeep. Honoring the U.S. Marines veterans of foreign battles. Funny story about these Jeeps, it was designed by Bantam back in the early 40s and they lost the contract and other companies built those Jeeps for the military. They were tasked in creating a vehicle that weighed 1,100 pounds that could be carried by four or five people if need be. It ran on seven different types of fuel. Coming in behind them is the Rotary Club of Laverne. They've incorporated the theme, United We Stand. And Here. here's the Benita Unified School District Board of Education. And we have Laverne San Dimas Educational Foundation. with Senator Portentino riding in the vehicle. I think this is the first one that I've seen with bubbles. I think you're right. I think they've got the right idea. I bet you didn't know that Bubbles was the name of a whale. I actually did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was down at SeaWorld back, <laughs> back in the day. Here we have Sandona Band. Let's see if we can listen to them. can't see us, but we are jamming out. <laughs> I 
perfect day to grab the surfboard and head out to the beach listening to music. And this is definitely what would be on a playlist playing. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we both know where this place is. <laughs> no, nah, you're kidding me. University of Laverne, we're both alumni. Yes, we are. You'd recognize that orange and green color anywhere in this yeah, city. Yeah, those Leos leap forward at a very slow pace. <laughs> Maybe we should tell them it's the pedal on the right that you're supposed to push on. <laughs> they just go with the theory, the longer and slower you drive, the longer the parade. Let's enjoy it as long as we can. Happy fourth. Recognizing some friendly faces around here. Chuck, you're a little popular today. I haven't seen Scott in a while. Wow. It's great to see familiar faces. Moving forward, we've got the Laverne Heritage Foundation. Coming through here with a vintage Ford tractor with Trailer Heritage volunteers. They'll be riding in the trailer and following along tractor and trailer with extra space for walkers. I'm sure tractors like that were used here in this city years ago because it was mostly orange groves. And we've got even a little tractor back here. I must admit, I like the little mini one more than the larger one. <laughs> pretty cool. Here we have Stingers baseball. They got the best youth spirit award. And I'm not surprised, they're looking pretty festive and enjoying themselves. I wonder at what point they decide, we could be riding on this thing and not have to walk. A uh, little exercise won't hurt them. That's true, <laughs> they got energy to burn. Yeah. Here we have A&M Carpet, driven by Dave Mendez. Coming in behind them is the Foothill Terrace Mobile Home Park. They're coming in on some golf carts and they're definitely decorated for the occasion. I think they're trying to get their Smoke and Hot Award. <laughs> I wonder how many of them are still using those golf carts for golf. <laughs> I do admit seeing some people driving around the cities with these golf carts, and it is, it's a showstopper, truly. They are exactly uh, festive, no doubt about that. And this one's here, got a cute little pup. Oh. I think I've counted on my hand probably about five or six. Oh, take it back. I see a seven.
right here we have the Drifters Jeep Club with the Best Adult Spirit Award. Some Willie's Jeeps out here. Of all shapes and sizes and colors. It's looking like each car has a personality of its own, truly. Oh, there's some more bubbles I see. Oh, they've got a bubble machine. Yep. <laughs> there we go. I'd venture to say, based on all the different colors and heights and shapes, and it's all representative of the person that's driving it. <laughs> Looks like we've gone from some older models to a little more new on this back end of the parade. I think you're right. I was thinking the exact <laughs> same thing. It's like, oh, these are all the new ones. Wait a second. They're the ones that are roughing it with air conditioning. They're a little <laughs> lucky. The other ones had their uh, doors off, getting a nice breeze on this day. Yeah, they have that 250 air conditioning. <laughs> you roll down two windows and drive 50 miles an hour. I love it. <laughs> We have, we have here Diane Victor, our Outstanding Older American Award recipient from 2020. As a volunteer, Diane has accomplished so much and has been volunteering as an excursion leader for the city of Laverne since 2011. Here we have Norm's Hangar Coffee Shop Best Float Award. This definitely did make me want to go over to Norm's after this and go get myself some biscuits and gravy. I <laughs> haven't been there in a while. I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> Crazy Bear's Bite. Looks like a few are making some laps around the place. <laughs> Riding bikes with tunes. Yeah. And today truly was the best day to be out here on a bike. Really enjoying this weather. It's one of those days where it's such a perfect temperature. Now we have My Gym Laverne Gymnastics. My Gym Laverne is Laverne's premier children's gym, providing classes for kids ages six weeks to 10 years old. They'll keep your children moving and active all throughout their youth. We have Laverne Little League, 10 and under, minors softball. They look like they're having fun. Oh, for sure. Sounds like we've got a bit of a chant going on back here. <laughs> no doubt. 
Here's the Laverne Little League. They're chanting out LV for Laverne. They've definitely got Laverne spirit. Here we have Laverne All Stars, nine and under. And we have the Laverne Little League seven and under All Stars team. They're chanting USA. They've definitely got the spirit for 4th of July. They're covering all their bases. For sure. <laughs> we love a good pun. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to throw a curve at you. And coming in here with the Laverne Little League is the Angels Farm Champions. USA, 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 USA. And right behind him we have Laverne Little League 12 and under all-star team. Coming in behind are the 10 and under. From the Girls Softball Association. I think it's safe to say we just hit the baseball portion of this parade. We definitely did. And it still doesn't look like it's ending anytime soon. We've got the eight and under all-star softball team. I think it's safe to say the kids today have definitely had a lot of spirit for the weekend. And here we have the major division champions, the twins. Here we have the out of order band. Let's see if we can listen to them a little. Here we have the best classy car award winner, 1972 Chevelle. That goes to the Hensbetter family. Stump Brewing Company coming in right behind them. And they've got some live music going on right behind them too. You got their one-man band there. 
Thank you, police officer. Ain't that a never You and me. Ain't that a never Something seeming. Ain't that a never Almost me. We hope you enjoyed LVTV's coverage of the 4th of July Parade. This is the 48th year that it's been going on, and I'm glad we were here. It was definitely a great parade. It seemed really quick. I'm, I'm very surprised, but it was a great parade. The kids had the most spirit, I will argue. <laughs> they definitely had fun doing it. For the City of Laverne, Friends of the 4th, Chuck Ochoa, and the entire LVTV crew, I'm JC. Thank you so much for watching the 4th of July Parade on LVTV3 Laverne Community Television. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th. <laughs>